Hey guys, it's uh, Scotty here. If like me, you've been irritated with having to tie up your laces, double knot them, and then untie them time and time again, and you thought there has to be a better way, then yeah, you've been searching like me on the internet for slip-ons, elastic laces, um, clips, and what I found, what I thought was going to be the, the be all and end all of, of laces, and that was magnetic laces. So I bought these magnetic laces um, on eBay and they were a real disappointment, I must say. They kept coming undone at the gym and I, I think they look a bit clunky as well. They sit flat so they pr give you a bit of a pressure point on the top of your foot and I thought I can do a better job than these guys. So I came up with my better magnetic laces. So here they are. Here you can see me jumping around like an idiot with the clips holding strong. Um, yeah, they, they just, they've never come undone on me. I've had them for three months now. As you can see, they come undone quite easily if you, when you put your toe on the back. Now what I did to relieve the pressure, pressure from the original laces was I, I made a slight angle where the magnets meet as you can see here. Okay and now for a bit of time-lapse photography. Now I printed these on my Prusa i3 Mark IIS. They were printed in PLA at a 0.15 layer height um, you print them at a smaller lay height if you want a little bit more detail, but for me they were uh, 0.15 was fine. Pre preferably not a brittle PLA. If you, some PLAs out there, older PLAs, tend to be a little bit brittle, whereas the newer ones tend to be a lot tougher. Um, otherwise, you can use pretty much most any any kind of uh, 3D printing um, filament. Okay. Ready to be bamboozled by magnets? Well, <laughs> um, like me, you probably have to sort of think about it a little bit first. I know it, um, it, it, most of us have played with magnets since we were little kids and um, been amazed by them. So we, we know basically how they work. So one side attracts and the other side repels. Um, so just to, without going into any more detail than that, what we need is two sets of attractive magnets. So. And this is for one set, so one foot of the uh, magnetic clip. So in total, we need eight magnets. And I'm, I've got all the details in the description below. Now, the, the two sets of two attractive magnets, right? Um, we separate them. And now what we want to do, we want to make sure that those two sets in their current orientation are opposite to the, the bottom is opposite to the top magnet, so we test that first. Um, and if they're not, we need to invert those, those magnets and make sure that they are correctly oriented so that, they de so that they detract from the top magnets. The reason being is that I've got one magnet that's north facing on the, cl on the clip and the other magnet is south facing, and this way I've made it this way because I want them to perfectly align and um, come together the exact same way each time. So they can't, couldn't accidentally um, come together uh, upside down, for instance, which would be unlikely. But just, just so, this is this is how I did it. <laughs> okay, so hopefully I haven't uh, confused you with the magnets, but. Um, once you've got that organized, then we need to glue them in place. So I use Araldite, a uh, two-part, five-minute Araldite, and it works just, just great. And it's, uh, because it's a firm fit, um, I can pretty much use these within 15 minutes to half an hour of, um, of actually mixing the glue. And uh, so I just use a little, sort of like a toothpick, um, just to push the glue in, a good dollop of it, because um, I want to make sure that it coats it fairly well.
once I've got got it lined up and I've got my my magnets oriented in the right order that I had them ordered before um, I push them in um, though the quite likely will be a little bit of ferrodite will come shooting out so make sure you've got a, um, a little bit of a, a cloth or or paper towel that you can use just to clean up the any excess ferrodite that comes out of the uh, out of the magnets so and let these set and and then the next step will be uh, fitting them fitting them to our shoes All right, now we need to fit the clips to our shoes. So we start off by uh, undoing the laces, um, either three or four holes on each side. So um, I do it uh, only three holes because I have my, my um, magnetic clips sitting a little bit higher on the shoe or four holes if you want them sitting a bit lower, a bit more relaxed. Um, so either way should work just fine. And you uh, th thread it as you can see here. Now when you've got, got them on, you need to step into the shoes and try and get, bring them together, bring the, um, bring the magnets together. And if they don't quite make it, you need to just uh, pull through a little, bit of the, uh, a little bit of the lace just to loosen them a little bit until they just, um, in, in my case, I like a, a firmer um, grip because like I do a lot of sport in them. I need, uh, I need really firm grip. Um, you know, if you're maybe wearing some casual shoes, you don't really, you're not so concerned about um, how firm they are, then you might want to make them loose. Um, and one positive about making them loose is when you put them on, you don't even need to bend over to actually clip them in. You can just flip, you can actually just flip your foot and they can just snap together, which is pretty cool. So, um, but I'll, I'll leave it up to you guys to experiment with that to work out what you like best. Once you've got it set to your desired firmness, now you uh, need to get a pen and just put a little mark or maybe a little dot or something inconspicuous on the laces to uh, to mark where you uh, where where the end of the lace passes through the last hole. Um, you could cut them off at this point if you wanted to, if you had plenty of laces and you didn't. But I mean, just as a I mean, you might you might decide you don't like these. Um, laces after a while who knows but um, but I've kept my laces and I haven't had any problems with them so yeah so once you've just tied a little overhand knot at that mark um, you then thread it back through down and up and I go down and back through the tongue, um, and uh, yeah, no problems with with mine. So uh, so that's how I did it. Um, you you might want to change the way you uh, you thread your uh, your laces. So um, this is just my my suggestion. Okay, so once you've got them all tucked in, then um, you're ready to rock and roll. Congratulations, you are, you've now got your magnetic laces. Um, so hopefully you'll get, uh, you'll get lots of uh, relief from the agitation of having to tie knots and untie knots and all that kind of stuff. So uh, yeah, um, good luck with it all. And yeah, if you liked this video, please give us a thumbs up. Um, uh, likewise, if you didn't, um, Give me a thumbs down um, and if you want to make a comment then by all means go ahead and uh, I'll do my best to answer every single comment that uh, people make and if you want to be kept up to date with all my latest projects um, then by all means subscribe to my channel and uh, you'll be the first to find out 
uh, all the latest and greatest. So um, thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.